Ooh, Eevee, Eevee, Eevee! Community Day has started like a few hours ago because currently it's 3.38 p.m. And I just woke up a few minutes ago. You guys might be wondering like, why did I wake up so late, right? Well, I'll tell you guys the three reasons why, but hi, hi to all of you guys. So first things first, let's go ahead and bring my screen up. And you guys can see, uh, it's already 3.38 p.m. I'm not too sure if you guys can see on the top of the screen, top left of the screen. But let's go ahead into Pokemon Go. Okay, so the reason why I woke up so late was because... <sighs> First reason is because I actually slept really, really late. I was waiting for my girlfriend to get back home. The reason for that is because she usually works till very late. And last night she got back like really, really late. So I was waiting for her to get back home. For those of you who do not know, my girlfriend, she's from the Philippines and she's working as a nurse in the hospital. So she handles COVID patients, sometimes up to like 6 a.m. in the morning or whatever time but yesterday was actually her off day however her uncle was um, tested positive for covid and she was really worried for her cousins and in fact her family members also so much so that she actually went back to work uh, wearing the full hazmat suit and blah 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 to actually uh, help out with that and also make sure that her uncle was in proper condition so she came back really really late and i just wanted to spend some time to talk to her that's why i stayed up till really late to talk to her make sure that she was all right and for her to get back home all right that's my personal life that's something that you guys probably wouldn't know but more know more about pokemon go from me so the second reason is because it's a uh, ev community day and i'm not really too keen to um, you know hunt for evs because um I have enough resources for EVs already and EV generally speaking isn't too good of a Pokemon to go after. Alright, you guys can see your EV community is still ongoing. But I'm gonna connect my ball plus to start spinning the Pokestops. Alright, and the third reason is because um, I intend to just play this event for a couple of minutes, not the entire six hours. So I don't think there's a need for me to like start so early, alright. So let's go ahead to collect some of the gifts from my buddy Pokemon first. Let's go ahead to uh, feed my buddy Pokemon also. Do the necessary things, uh, usually what I normally do once I start the game. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna feed the Pensage. Gonna, we don't have to take a photo of it because we've already taken a photo of it uh, before I slept. So okay, let's go ahead to check out uh, some of the things that we need to do. First of all, we're gonna tap on the balloon and see if it's Sierra or not. If it's Sierra, we will fight. If it's not Sierra, I'm not going to fight then. Okay, so I know it's one quarter egg hash distance right now, but I'm so lazy to even go out <laughs> to actually uh, walk because uh, I'm just lazy today. I'm so sorry. Okay, so um, three hours uh, in sense, but I'm not even going to use any items at all. I'm not even going to spend any Pokecoins on any items at all other than the ones that I get for free over here, which we can get from the timed research. We have the power of Pokemon 5 times, catch 5 EVs. Which we can do so over here because there are a few EVs over there and hopefully we can get one shiny EV also from all these, uh, the ones that are over here. Okay, that's not shiny. Okay, how about the second one? That's also not shiny. Okay, let's go ahead and check the third one. Maybe it's going to be shiny. How about this? Is it going to be shiny? Please be shiny so that I can just uh, don't have to catch any more EVs already though I've already transferred like a lot of shiny EVs. I believe I've transferred like, okay that the wrong thing again. I believe I've transferred I think like 40 or 50 over shiny EVs already so much so that they are clogging up my storage space so that's why I decided to transfer a lot of them. Okay so let's go ahead to catch this uh, EV over here and it should be done. We can claim the reward but let's go ahead to also uh, do this. I'm gonna power up yep, the Altaria. One, two, three, four. Okay it's gonna go to level 50 slowly bit by bit. Okay, you want to look for Pokemon that you really want to power up to level 50 or level 40 to work on and not like power up like level 1 Pokemon to level whatever to waste your Stardust, okay? So plan accordingly. I know a lot of YouTubers out there recommend you know, power up level 1 Pokemon use like a thousand Stardust, which I wouldn't recommend. I've never recommended you guys to do that. So anyway, let's go ahead and claim the reward. Let's see what we get from the mysterious uh, Pokemon. Okay, we got Eevee. Um, how surprising, right? Obviously, that's not a surprise because it's Eevee coming today. Throw properly, Brandon. You can't even throw the ball properly already, you stupid. All right, so we are done with the time research. What else can we do? Hmm, of course, we can catch more Eevees. Of course, we can also do some interesting stuff to 
the EVs also, you can evolve them to get the exclusive move for each of the EV illusions, which I will not go through. And yes, we got one shiny EV, and that's all that I'll be showing you guys in this video. One shiny EV, really, really awesome. Do we need more? No, I, I, I'm serious guys. I really transferred 40 or 50 shiny EVs already. I mean, I still have a few more shiny EVs over here, which I'll show you guys. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's sort by that. And I have some of them with like the flower crown, etc. And the party hat and the flower crown. Again, this particular one, I'm saving it for my girlfriend. Hence, that's why that's her IGN over there that's put over there. But we have not met up yet. We have not met up for the last one and a half years. However, I did state that next month, September, I was supposed to travel. And the first place that I was going to travel to, obviously, is to meet up with my girlfriend in Philippines. However, you know, the situation in Philippines right now, the COVID situation is really, really bad. It's so bad that she's very stressed up as a nurse working in a hospital every day. Sometimes working 12 to 16 hours a day. Yeah, seeing that stresses me also. And... Of course, I do wish to be there to spend time with her and accompany her to, you know, release some stress off her. However, it's not possible right now because Philippines does not allow foreign nationals to travel in. I've checked with the Philippine embassy here in Singapore already. So I guess my next month's travel plan has to be postponed to another date. Yeah, that's a part of life and we just need to accept that. So anyway, we can also um, do some interesting stuff like check out some of the Hundo EVs that I have. Alright, do I want to evolve some of them right now? Um, maybe I'll evolve one to Umbreon later on at night because uh, there are some uh, Leos over here. I'll try and evolve one to Umbreon later to get Psychic as the exclusive move. Other than that though, I might get one to Sylveon or so to get the exclusive move of Psyshock, which I mean... I can technically elite charge DM in this, but I do not want to waste it. I might as well just use my one of the Hundo uh, EVs that I have. So let's go ahead to check out uh, some of the evolutions that I've done. And there are actually three evolutions that I have not powered up to level 50 yet, which I will do that with you guys right now. So I have powered up my Vaporeon to level 50 already at 3,521 CP. And of course, the Jotion to 3,265 CP, also level 50. The Flareon also up to level 50 at 3,424 CP. And the Espeon will be the first one that we'll be powering up together because I've not powered up a Espeon to level 50. So let's go ahead to bring it up to 3,583 CP to level 50 right now. It's just adding to the collection and clearly you guys can see that I still have like over 800 candy XL for EV because EV does spawn very very often in the wild and in fact there have been so many events for EVs I guess it's because of the let's go EV and let's go Pikachu that you know event you know what I should actually set my uh, ball blast to catch Pokemon also so that you can catch the EVs and I don't waste the, the spawns yeah okay uh, back to the evolutions though uh, hang on guys, I'm really really slow. Okay, yeah, because I just woke up. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out Umbreon. I have a level 50 Umbreon or so, maxed out using it in the Ultra League. However, I might get Psyshock, a uh, Psychic on it, not Psyshock, Psychic on it. Instead of using Last Resort as it will be a better option to counter fighting type Pokemon, but it also really depends on situation, I suppose. So the next Pokemon that I'm going to power up is my Leafeon, okay? We're going to power this up to level 50, 3,328 CP. Yeah, so I guess uh, I'm almost done with getting a full entire evolution all the way to up to level 50. This is my number 7th evolution to number to level 50. And then the last one is going to be my Glaceon. So Glaceon going up to level 50 or so. The number is really nice though, 3535, very easy to remember. Yeah, so that's cool. And uh, the Sylveon, I don't have to do anything to it because it has already been you know, powered up. To level 50 in that Sylveon video, how to get Sylveon. And I guess I'll be unlocking the second move for all my evolutions that have reached uh, level 50 years. So come on, don't 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 hang over there. Alright, so let's do it to the Leafeon also. Yeah, I just want to have a bit of fun, you know, doing this because uh, for me to go out there to like hunt shinies and shinies and shinies and shinies, if you guys ain't bored of seeing me hunt for shiny EVs. I'm the one who's gonna get bored doing that. I mean, I wanted to work on a video to to um, hatch a lot of eggs because it's one quarter egg hatch distance. Then I realized that it actually started raining like just now. And also, um, I, I was just lazy guys. And I was also tired because I, I slept really, really early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, so I, I wanted to just sleep in and rest 
up so I didn't uh, do that but let's go ahead to unlock the last charge move for the level 50 evolution alright so I think that is it right do I still want to power up another one I mean maybe I can power this one up next time in the future yeah I don't have enough candy XL to power up this EV anymore I don't mind having a level 50 EV yeah so I think uh, that is all that I have to show to you guys for this uh, EV community day. There's nothing else that I can do other than taking snapshots of my Pokemon, I suppose. So if I were to take snapshot, of course the EV will do the photobomb, right? So we can do five photobombs, which then uh, technically speaking, you will, you, you will see it in the wild and your Gold Plus will not lock onto the photobomb Pokemon, which is a good thing. Yeah, so it's not shiny. Okay, we are going to catch it. As usual, fast catch it. Thank you for opening my gift, man. Alright, so we're going to do it again to the Pensage. Now, how about let's do it five times. I've not done it five times with you guys before. And the most I've done is usually one. So, I might as well just do it one time with you guys five times in this particular video. Let's hope we can get a shiny out of the five snapshots. So, the second snapshot is in. Hopefully, we caught it. If we catch it. 429CP was the last one. So, that did not get caught. You have to try again. But if you keep trying and trying and trying again, okay, uh, let me show you one example. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, catch this EV first. It should stay in the in storage already. So 429 CP. So if you keep trying and trying and trying over again, especially using the fast catch, it will just keep on going and going and going and going non-stop. Say 429 CP, you cannot catch more than two 429 <laughs> CP uh, EVs already. Okay, so the only way to guarantee that it's gone is to actually check in your storage that you have caught it. If you were to not do the fast catch at all, Instead to just catch it as per normal, okay, I missed the excellent. The EV will run away after one shake. Run. Definitely guaranteed. No other option will happen, alright? So anyway, we're gonna um, take a snapshot again of the pen sage. Okay, and we got the third EV out again. Let's go ahead to tap on the third EV over here. Nice. It's not shiny, but it's okay. Not to worry. CP13 though. Okay, let's go ahead to fast catch that. It should be in the storage already. Nice. And then we're going to do the fourth snapshot. Okay. So, for those of you who are wondering, like, uh, what have I been doing for the last few days in terms of Pokemon Go because I've not been playing the usual way I've been playing. Well, yesterday I took a day off playing Pokemon Go, technically speaking. I was... What, what the... Was that the same one? I, I actually spent around six hours watching three movies yesterday. Yeah, it was a good change of... Uh, pace i guess and what's going on where, where, where isn't it supposed to be five snapshots okay maybe it's a glitch let's take another snapshot guys yeah so um i just wanted to do something different and uh, furthermore there ain't too much things to like go after du during this period right now other than ghastly's because uh ghastly's candy xl is still very important to max out shadow Gengar in the future so um yeah, I guess uh, I'm just taking a time off till 1st of September. Not spending a single Pokecoin at all. Still. Alright, so we are done, I guess, with all the snapshots. Let's go ahead to also check out if we got ourselves any Hundo EVs or not. No, we did not. But we got ourselves a few new Hundos like Shellos and also Barboch, which were caught from the few research. And also this was Gold Blast. This was also Gold Blast. If I'm not mistaken, it's during the spotlight hour. I cannot remember. Or was it slightly after the spotlight hour? Yeah, so... Chinese-wise, uh, yeah, we got a few new Shinies. Including a shiny sock that I got like a few days ago. This was Gold Blast. <laughs> it was amazing. I was like, why that Gold Blast? A shiny sock at 2035 CP. That was pretty insane if you ask me. And I Gold Blast myself like a shiny Time Po also. Yeah, and then uh, shiny Lillipup, shiny Bronzor, all go plus. I didn't really hand catch a lot. I was just really, really like uh, lazy and like not in the mood to like play during this period or so. So I go plus every single shiny that you guys can see over here, other than the EV which uh, we just caught together. And of course, all these were before I stopped spending uh, Poke Coins in Pokemon Go. So I think that's all that I have to update you guys, man. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching me play EV Community Day. I know it's a bit different and I got one shiny at least. So uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it. So let me know in the comment section down below. Did you guys uh, play EV Community Day? What did you guys do during EV Community Day? Did you guys just rest during EV Community Day? Because Auntie Gladys and Anne, they still went out to grind during EV Community Day because the spawns are a lot during Community Day, as we all know. But for me, I will not spend my time uh, grinding 
for a Pokemon or the Candy XL for a Pokemon that I don't really want to get. So that's why I decided to sleep in during this period. And like I said, I was going to max out that EV to level 50, right? Well, there's still like tomorrow to also grind out the Candy XL from the EVs for six hours again. Oh my God. Yeah. So anyway, I'm not here to like bash, you know, the community day or whatsoever. I understand that there are players out there who did not play the first EV community day three, day, three years ago. So obviously, for you guys, it is exciting and I know the community day will just keep on repeating and repeating and repeating for new players who have been coming in, coming in, coming in every single year or single month or single day. Okay, that I fully understand. I really do hope that they bring in more exciting ones like maybe uh, Lavita Community Day or Dratini Community Day, those that the uh, you know Candy XL are important ones. Yeah, that will be really cool. Gasly Community Day, that will be a Community Day that I really will play hard because I want the Candy XL also. Alright, so with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, goodbye, goodbye, good bye, Evie.